was it was a good day. Played well. Um, wasn't quite a 60 or 61 that I kind of semi joked about yesterday, but um, I, I played solid, and, and that was you know uh, not making birdie at number two with a wedge in my hand and uh, for my second shot, and then you know hitting. I thought a good drive at 16 on the par five, and and um, ended up being in the rough there and not making birdie there too. So two par fives where I didn't make a birdie where. Know, the, the whole field pretty, pretty much is going to make birdies there. So good round, but it could have been a little bit better. And uh, but a good way to end the end the, the tournament. And nice to see a, a good crowd out there today, and um, and fans back, and the American Family Championship back. So after all those pars in a row early, what did you do to kind of kick it into gear? Well, I told Nikki as we were sitting on the six hole, I'm like, well, we're even par after five again. You know, I, I just squandered away a couple opportunities, and I said, well, let's see what we can do uh, from this point forward today, uh, and hopefully different than the first two days. So, um, again, played uh, played pretty good, you know, and I and I played actually pretty good all week. I just didn't get a lot out of the first couple of rounds and um, did some really dumb mistakes, and um, but nice way to end it. You yeah, putted well, hit it in there. Had had some you know closer opportunities today, and and um, you know I kept telling myself that I've I've been I feel like I'm stroking it fine, you know, and, and they're just not going in, and and then you start to put those doubts in your head, and uh, you know as I started making a few more today, you know that confidence came back a little bit, and um, so that was good to see, and and uh, you know it's just. It's challenging as we get older, and I think putting is probably the most challenging. And uh, you know, but I'll continue to work on it. But I, I did. I putted it nicely today. On that run in the back nine, how close were those birdies that you made? And then how did not, how didn't you birdie the par five sixteenth? Yeah, um, hit a nice shot in there at ten to you know maybe uh, twelve feet, uh, wedge to twelve feet, birdie to eleven, made about a six eight footer, uh, and then thirteen was uh, five, six feet, 14 was about the same, another five or six, so it was 16, or 15. So 13, 14, 15, we're all about the same kind of length putts, you know, five, six, seven feet, somewhere in there. 16, I drove it right over the trees um, like I wanted, and, and it actually, with the wind started taking it to the right, and I'm like, wow, this is gonna be down there perfect. And it was down there a long ways, but I was just into the thick rough. And uh, the lie was okay, but I was standing, the ball was way below my feet. And I knew I couldn't miss it left, and that's where I missed it. I missed it left in the bunker and short-sided. I, I hit a nice bunker shot out to about you know, 15, 18 feet and had a ton of break and didn't make that. And I had a nice opportunity at 17 too that I left right in the middle short. But um, yeah, it would have been nice to get another one or two on the way in. Imagine yesterday, just uh, played in front of the home crowd, added a little some extra pressure, you know, the way that you finished up today, and um, yeah, just the mindset that you came into today, and how you finished up the run. Yeah, it's it is. It's nice, you know. It's um, it's a tournament that I would dearly love uh, to win. Uh, so coming in, you know, and I know I'm playing well. I, I kind of put that extra pressure on myself and didn't didn't handle that very well. And you know, today was more about uh, let's go out and see how low I can shoot, uh, see how many birdies I can make, play a little bit smarter. Uh, which I did, and so that um, that bodes well. You know, I, I I've got a week coming off, uh, or a week coming up that I'm going to be off, and then uh, either play on the regular tour or Champions Tour next. So it, it's a good uh, momentum into this off week that I can kind of continue to uh, work on my game and keep it going in the right direction. So aside from your own performance as tournament host, how do you assess the success of the tournament after yeah. you're off? Yeah, it's uh, I just saw the. Uh, Amp fam executives there as I walked off 18, Jack and Bill and Jim Buheim, um, you know, they they were all there and, and uh, you know, we all hugged each other and it, it was it was just great to see it back being played again. Uh, and the people coming out with great enthusiasm, the fans uh, showed a lot of support for everybody that I get nothing but uh, compliments from the players. Uh, the volunteers are incredible. Um, we just got a great group of people here that put on this event and, and the tour, the players show up to play in it and uh, they love the city. Uh, there's so many positives about the whole thing. So it, it was finally uh, great to be back playing here again.
Jerry bogeyed his first hole of the day and now has a one-shot lead as he walked in here. Um, what does it say about him, his love for this course, this tournament, and uh, his ability to play U Ridge so well? Yeah, I think I, this is his first time here, um, but he grew up, you know, up no, in... No, Jerry Kelly. Oh, Jerry. I yep. think he said Jim. No, Jerry. Jerry's leading. Oh, Jerry's leading. Yeah. Um, well, it doesn't surprise me, really. You know, I mean, he, uh, he plays this course well. It reminds him a lot of... Uh, I'm sure Maple Bluff, you know, it's uh, it's got the big trees, the tree line fairways on the back nine, especially, and uh, he's a he drives it straight, and he's a good short iron player, so it's a good combination going around here. So it, it wouldn't surprise me at all if he uh, if he were to walk up here and win this thing again. Julius from the PGA just reminded us that there's 99 days until the Ryder Cup. Is, is that now after this tournament? Is that you know kind of take place or focus? Well, it's always got my focus and my attention. Um, you know, I'm always watching, uh, you know, the tournament that's being played. I went home last night and tried to get caught up, you know, or I got caught up with the guys who are playing there and how they're doing and uh, the point lists and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, it's got my full attention all the time. And, um, yeah, I mean, it's uh, – I don't know what else to say. I'm thinking about it constantly. <laughs> Yeah, I think um, this course provides that kind of theater. Um, it's it's got a lot of opportunities uh, on the back nine. You can make a move if you need to. There's holes that you can eagle. Uh, there's holes that you can make a good run at, at birdies, and then if you don't play them quite smart enough, um, they can jump up and grab you too. So uh, it's. Uh, it kind of the course lends itself to I think a, a good finish and we're probably going to see it again today. Aside from, are you locked into John Deere and is any other? Do you have any other tournament that you're for sure going to in the in the near future? Uh, John Deere for sure. Um, I'm going to play uh, next week is off, uh, and then I'm going to play either a Senior Players Championship or the Travelers uh, Championship on the tour, the regular tour. Uh, 3M Championship. I think I'm going to go up and play. Um, John Deere and then uh, see where I stand. Great.